I found a loss in my community, uh, my friends. Something changed and I had no idea what the future held. Fifty years after those riots right across the street at the historic Stonewall Inn, undeniably a lot of progress has been made. Well now, a group of dads, religious dads in fact, creating a community so their kids are loved and accepted. My name is Jake Abhow, my son is John, and I was part of a group of fathers that started Dragon Dad six years ago. My name is Drew Armstrong, I'm Tyler's dad, and I've been a Dragon Dad for six years. I'm Dave Jensen. I'm the father of Natalie Jensen and Cooper Jensen, and I've been in Dragon Dads for three and a half years. So I was raised in a Christian church, and I was taught that being gay wasn't God's way. I feel blessed a few months before Natalie came out to us that my wife and I had a change of heart. We were able to the best of our ability, be as level-headed and loving as possible. Uh, we were very upfront saying, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I love you. I love you a whole lot. And he always made that really, really clear that he still loved me. So we spent a lot of time with Natalie asking questions. And in fact, we have a swing in the front of our house, uh, which later by my son has started being referred to as the gay swing. Because every time we we're on the swing, sitting with Natalie, we are talking about uh, LGBTQ issues. Um, over time, he started to realize things within himself. But it really means something to me because he's just... He's, I just love him a lot. As you support your LGBTQ kid, I found a loss in my community, uh, my friends, it was a struggle. I needed friends. I needed people who were in the same place in life as I was. In 2013, my wife and I were active members in the Mormon Church. My son was 13 at the time and, um, and essentially kind of came to the realization that he probably was gay. We were looking for community. Uh, we were looking for other people that were going through similar things uh, that we were going through. and so. Literally, I went online one day and just formed a Facebook group called a Dragon Dads. Um, Papa Dragon sounded a little bit too much like Papa Smurf to me. Dads just has a little bit more of a, a loving appeal to it. The Facebook itself started with about five or six members. Uh, within a year, we grew to maybe 30. Being part of this Facebook group has really helped a lot of us reestablish that community that we felt when we were members of either whether it was Mormonism or another religious organization. What's the purpose of Dragon Dads in the simplest of, of terms? We help other dads know how to parent a gay, lesbian, trans uh, child. We really just try to uh, be there for each other. And I think people maybe tend to overlook that. When you're coming from a conservative background and you've got a kid that, you know, is LGBT at some level, there's things in your community that you kind of have to face and deal with that you maybe don't, you don't think about. What does your son think about? All of this. He thinks I'm gayer than he is. He's, he's, he's like, he's like, Dad, you go do that thing. He's like, I'm just gonna live my life. But he appreciates. Yeah. It. Well, I think that's the point. I mean, that's what we're trying to do here. For him, he's living a life that's just his life. It wasn't so much that I found Dragon Dads, it was I found these guys that are like me, and let's do something with it. I think just like it is for our kids, when our kids find a group of people that they can belong with, they go, oh my gosh, these people are dealing with the same stuff that I am. Having people that you say, you know, these are my people, I identify with these guys, it makes a difference. Hey gentlemen, can I get everybody's attention? Welcome to breakfast. I started putting out on Facebook, uh, an Affirming Father's Breakfast, and uh, other dads just started coming. I know how much being able to sit down with other dads and talk things through without a filter, I know how much that meant to me. We go out for breakfast, we eat, we're friends. We enjoy each other's company, we talk about things that are going on in our kids' lives, and have a community. 
Brian Taylor from Querétaro, Mexico. I have a trans daughter that came out two and a half years ago. I know I connect with a lot of you online, but it's good to meet <laughs> some of you in person today. I feel honored to be a part of this group, to be um, associated with all of you. My name is Mark, and I've also just joined this group. My name is Phil Berry, got a 17 year old gay son, Abram. Fresh eggs. <laughs> you want to get some more? We had known since he was much younger that he was likely gay. Just to make things easier for him, we just wrote him a note and slid it under his pillow. There's much more where this came from. In the meantime, know that you are beautiful, wonderful, and likable young man, and I'm proud to call you a friend. Signed, Dad. Mm. Has that changed in five years? No. The, the Dragon Dads helps us be more outspoken in our own spheres. Just knowing that um, they're out there and that they've got our back, it really means a lot to have that network of support. Today is a little bit different because we have Pride starting today. Yeah. Right? I came up here from Arizona to march in this parade with our group. We like to think that we're just flies on the wall here and really just are here to help if we're needed, but ultimately this isn't about us. Marching down that street, there's a love in that group that I, I don't know where else I've felt that, a, a certain amount of acceptance. Walking in the parade with your dad is basically him being like, yes, look at me world, I'm an awesome dad. He's over here like trying to change the world and it's really cool. We're hoping that there are other fathers that are coming in and maybe dipping their toe in the water a little bit to see what's out there and, and what they can learn. And that's what our group's for. People need an example. I think that's what we really want to do is set a good example for dads of, uh, as to this is how you father, this is how you parent an LGBT kid. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.